Hello guys, uh, I have been experimenting a little bit here and I took the old SSB 6.1 schematic and I refactored it uh, to use S um, C5351 and I'm trying to run it right now and of course it's pretty raw but uh, I think I'm getting some interesting result and I would love to share it with you. I hope we can hear somebody. All right, Jerry, thank you very, very much. W1FCA. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, thank you for my signal report. I wish I had a better one for you. Uh, this radio seems to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit stubborn. Perhaps if I keep the uh, preamp. So it runs from magnetic loop in my apartment and the, there are there is a lot of noise from the outside and um, so it's pretty raw design but you must hear that it works very well and there's no uh, automatic gain uh, correction function so I have to implement that thing and so but uh, it works and I can do the power off and show you the back of the board and that's um, maybe even I will start from the front part so it has a display right here it just indicates a frequency maybe maybe I could show you so right now it presets so everything and I started but it's it's very primitive so it just controls intermediate frequency and I can go to switch a step here and for example if I want to go up this uh, variable frequency accelerator which is goes to first mixer so I have to tune it from here and then I am able to correct V4 and let me go the step so its interface is not very friendly and convenient it's definitely needs some work here and um, so if you go kilohertz per roll and now we must be able to hear somebody so let's go and search for somebody and so it's a little bit interesting so let's change our step So con reception conditions aren't perfect here, so we have to, you might see there is We can hear somebody. So this is how tuning works, and it, it goes intermediate okay, frequency, intermediate frequency plus um, plus V V four four. So V V four runs on the upper level, and we kind of down, mix it down, and to use uh, lower band pass and uh, lower side pass side band of the frequency and the filter here is primitive to a crazy point of crazy so it has only two crystals right now because it's prototype and you might hear that it's like selectivity is far <laughs> far away from the the one we would love to see here but <laughs> that's cool i think it's cool um all right i plan to show you the board and talk a little bit about the board so sorry uh, for that, um, so the board consists uh, CPU, uh, microcontroller, and uh, it's I think it's one of those uh, AT tiny, and see from here, but um, it's one of the simplest one, AT AT megacontrollers, and uh, 
um, um, I think it was a TT tiny, I took mega control and mega 326, I believe. Some of those ones. And so encoder and volume regulator, it has three, uh, three inductors in, in EF stage and one inductor on, on the receive part. So it's not a final design. Don't, don't think it's a final thing, but it just a raw, raw prototype. And uh, I, I tried to build it as a proof of concept and uh, using a SSB 6.1 as a base. And seems work, works pretty well. So we have uh, it will stabilizer here and there are a few things I, I have changed about 6.1 I throw away TDA 2003 because it's super old it hits like hell and volume it produces is like 5 watts and so much heat so it's not it's ridiculous and it consumes so many energy right now this schematic like whole working schematic consumes only 80 milliamps at 12 volts and when I go this power so audio it goes up and so it, it's much more efficient and doesn't dissipate so much heat as, as the old one design so if you will flip it back uh, you might see that I used some of the Maxim's component Maxim integrated components and so we have a C5351 and we have two SA612 um, here and we have 998 everywhere here and this is first crystal and second crystal here so the design is fairly simple and it uses uh, 0805 components and um, so I think one thing I did not do very well so I have this MCP 3.3 volt stabilizer and I should have something beefier here but I don't know I, I put this one because it was on C5351 board and I thought it will be it will be okay -ish. and it's it's a okay cage but it's it's heating up a little bit so one couple things about this board design and what is slightly not wrong but kind of little, makes me makes me uh, nervous about is that because it's um, this schematic uses PWM uh, amplifier so it's like class D proper amplifier you might, you might see the chip here and it's it's very very small so if I will get closer to it and you might you might be able to see it yes so this is a chip this is Maxim integrated chip um, yeah 9768 I think so yeah, 97 max 9768. Uh, this is 10 watts power amplifier, but in order to be used in radio, it should have appropriate filtering here, and it's not not done. So you, I, I did like a couple of those jump wires here, and this is jump solder resistor, and uh, so uh, it's not working very well. And if I hook up it to a loner wires, so it starts radiating the EMIs into the ear and like, I'm not able to receive anything and which is which is not very good so the the PCB itself is is quite raw right now it's like <laughs> after the bombing but <laughs> uh, there's there's a proof of concept of AGC that's supposed to use uh, intermediate frequencies that pass through the band pass filter and use that part as 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 a game as a as a as a feedback loop in AGC and um, an automatic gain control, so that should work. And if you bear with me for a moment, I can show you the schematic of all this stuff, and we can go down through the schematic, and I will show you it a little bit better. Uh, so this the start it starts from the classic filter and filter right here it contains it just signal comes through and goes through this um, double double inductors filter couple of inductors but uh, um, it just just classic filter and um, so what I did change from SSB 6.1 uh, you might see I use inductive coupling here uh, for this 
for this main inductor and it's like simplifies a lot plus balanced signals and all this um, uh, mixer works in double balanced balanced uh, way so it should work better it should get a oh, larger stream of amplitude and um, power supply or should have like a better rejection on power supply and next we we go into first stage and uh, then we have filtering the second stage of amplifier that amplifies intermediate frequency and uh, then we have a second mixer right here uh, so for V4V you see 5351 like I said I created a few things here and the IGC itself I'm planning just to build a very simple um, I think it's Darlington not Darlington but I think it's it just just very high gain schematic to have a large amplifier here to amplify internet frequency then we have a detector and I try to implement somewhat like a fast and slow so essentially there should be like a large capacitor right here that should provide like a, a slow AGC for relatively large signals and like a slow delay and there's like a somewhat like a bypass part that sh should work faster like a faster AGC for really small big signals like uh, uh, like a, a several milliseconds signals like uh, I don't know um, thunderstorm or something like this and uh, um, so it's uh, lightning from the lightning EMI or something like that then that should work very well I, I hope so that's that's a plan so um, what we have is um, yeah this is schematic of the audio amplifier and that schematic is quite quite large and maybe more tricky I have preamp right here and I have implemented like filter right here instead of all this um, RCs, RC chains coming up from the mixer I did did it here and it, it boosts the signal quite well and next uh, we have volume control that comes from the max 9768 so that part should do the trick and has perfect volume control here and has enough power to drive any loudspeaker and the only one thing is a filter in here and that needs to be done very well because otherwise we'll have all kinds of EMIs going from PWM uh, pulse with modulation going out from this chip and we don't want to have it in the in the air and so we have to filter it very well what else um, we don't have too much this is basically a synthesis board that has display and the microcontroller yeah 80 mega 328 pm that's the part and uh, we have basically encoder and this is programming connector and this is LCD connector um, with LCD I have to perform a few tricks otherwise it's it's kind of getting noisy and uh, produces lots of noise noise on it and maybe we need a different one LCD here because the, this one I even have to do a few hacks on it I, not a few but one hack so I soldered extra capacitor right here right next to stabilizer right right over there because that should should that should do the trick for um, to, to just to reduce EMIs coming out from it I don't know for some reason they have somewhat like a capacitive charge pump or something like this inside and that 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 idea that drives a lot of noise and uh, it's not really really good so that's the idea uh, I hope that recording video is uh, you, you're gonna like this stuff uh, I hope I cover it all those interesting parts and I, I really like how it works and I think it it, it works really nice like the SSP 6.1 works and this appropriate filter in it it should be really good all right thank you for attention if you like my video or comment leave a comments if you like it or don't like it 
If you have questions, also ask in comments. Thank you.